This is Nurse of Death, the Lucy Letby story, a gripping true crime podcast that takes you deep into the chilling tale of allegations against Lucy Letby, a seemingly caring and dedicated nurse who harbored a dark secret. Join us as we unravel the twisted journey of a medical professional whose actions sent shockwaves throughout the healthcare community. It's the story of a nurse who went from saving lives to becoming the harbinger of death. This is Nurse of Death, the Lucy Letby story. A sense of chilling unease hung heavy in the air as a disturbing account of one neonatal nurse's alleged heinous crimes was laid bare at Manchester Crown Court today. 33-year-old Lucy Letby, whose professional life was dedicated to caring for the most vulnerable, is accused of perpetrating unthinkable atrocities set to be marked by cold calculation, savage cruelty, and an unyielding determination. The prosecutor, Nick Johnson KC, painstakingly painted a grim picture of a woman who, under the guise of her trusted position, allegedly sought to harm the very infants entrusted to her care at the Countess of Chester Hospital. Johnson's case against Letby alleges she was able to continue her alleged attacks unnoticed for a year, largely because her unsuspecting colleagues were unable to fathom that one of their own, a member of their tightly knit neonatal care family, could possibly harbor such malevolent intentions. As Johnson outlined, Letby is said to have utilized cunning tactics to deflect suspicion from herself and potentially implicate her fellow nurses. She is accused of altering observation charts, persuading her colleagues to sign off on these falsified documents, and skillfully manipulating situations to cast suspicion on others while simultaneously obscuring her tracks. Johnson emphasized the premeditated nature of her alleged actions, suggesting she would wait for moments of opportunity, such as when parents or fellow medics were away from an infant's bedside, before launching her horrifying assaults. Throughout the nine-month trial, Johnson's case has sought to connect the strands of evidence pointing to Letby as the sole individual responsible for a wave of infant endangerment on the neonatal unit from June 2016 to June 2017. A staggering total of seven murders and ten attempted murders of infants are alleged, with Johnson arguing that the striking similarities between the attacks indicate a single person's involvement— a particularly shocking incident recounted was one where a mother purportedly caught Letby red-handed trying to harm one of her twin baby boys, identified as Baby E. The mother allegedly witnessed her baby's excruciating cry and the unsettling presence of blood around his mouth. Letby is accused of promptly dismissing the mother's alarm by attributing the infant's distress to a nasogastric tube, a claim Johnson vehemently denounces as a panicked lie. Further, Johnson discussed two cases where infants were poisoned with insulin, insisting that these instances are indicative of a calculated plan to endanger children's lives on the neonatal unit. He detailed how the alleged perpetrator increased the insulin dosage from a tiny vial into an intravenous feeding bag, intending to poison baby Earl, one of a pair of twins. This, Johnson suggested, provides a stark glimpse into the calculated and cruel mindset of the attacker, demonstrating a level of cold-blooded planning that defies comprehension. Johnson also shed light on the secretive online searches let be conducted on the mother of babies E and F, which he claims she has never sufficiently explained. He reflected on her actions with chilling words, carefully enunciating each descriptor, cold, calculated, cruel, relentless. Despite the damning case against her, Letby might have continued to elude suspicion had it not been for the intervention of Dr. Dewey Evans, an expert pediatrician called upon by the prosecution. Dr. Evans' expertise led him to discover that the manufactured insulin allegedly used by Letby left a biological footprint indicative of foul play. In a particularly chilling recount, Johnson described an alleged incident following Letby's return from a holiday to Ibiza in June 2016, when she supposedly embarked on a killing spree resulting in the murder of triplets Baby O and P and an attack on Baby Q. In closing, Johnson urged the jury of eight women and four men to consider the unsettling evidence before them. He recounted an occasion when a consultant on the unit, Ravi Jayaram, 
walked into Nursery One on February 17, 2016, to find Letby standing idly over a cot. He asked the jury to visualize a 25-week-old baby desaturating in front of them for 30 seconds to a minute. The stark reality of the situation was laid bare as he counted out each second. The discomfort felt by merely discussing such a scenario, he claimed, is a clear indication of the gravity of the charges, attempted murder. Lucy Letby, originally hailing from Hereford, vehemently denies all charges leveled against her. As the trial continues, the eyes of a shocked nation remain firmly fixed on the developments within the walls of Manchester Crown Court. This is Nurse of Death, The Lucy Letby Story, a gripping true crime podcast that takes you deep into the chilling tale of allegations against Lucy Letby, a seemingly caring and dedicated nurse who harbored a dark secret. Join us as we unravel the twisted journey of a medical professional whose actions sent shockwaves throughout the healthcare community. It's the story of a nurse who went from saving lives to becoming the harbinger of death. This is Nurse of Death, the Lucy Letby story.